Earlier in the PDI series, I told you not to touch any of the engine bolts for now. So you'll want to go around there and check anything that we haven't done in another process. Like for example, your intake manifold, fan shrouds, pretty much anything you can find around there. And remember, most of this is going to be M6 6mm hardware, so it doesn't take a lot of torque. You just want to make sure it's snugged up. Now if you follow the exhaust pipe up towards the front of the scooter, eventually you should end up at the header here and the flange that attaches to the cylinder head. On the right of your screen, that's the stock nut that they install to secure the exhaust. On the left of the screen is what I usually do. I remove the stock nut and then I install an M6 lock washer and then an M6 by 1.0 millimeter thread pitch uh, nut. I tighten that first nut down and then I install another M6 by 1.0 thread pitch nut and tighten that up against the uh, first nut. And what that does is it kind of locks them in place. So do that one at a time but make sure you do both of them. So you should find you've got a series of 8mm hex head bolts all the way around the perimeter of the cover. You want to remove those. Just be careful with the brackets. Make sure you can get them back in the proper order when you uh, put it together. Once you've got all the bolts out, you should be able to pull this cover off. Sometimes they're a little stubborn from the gasket on there, in which case you can uh, give it a few taps with a rubber mallet and then pull it off. Now I want to check both the clutch and the variator nut to make sure they're tight enough. If one of those comes loose, it's going to cause you a lot of problems. Both of these should be around 35 to 40 foot-pounds of torque. You can use a holding tool for the clutch. Hold a couple of the holes in here while you torque it down. Sometimes you can use the rear brake and torque this. For the variator, you can, easily, you can use a locking tool that locks into these teeth to hold it while you torque it with a torque wrench. What I'm going to do is use a torque stick on an impact gun. Clutch is going to be a 14 millimeter. I'll start here. You may want to hold the rear brake while you do it, even with an impact. The variator is a 17 millimeter, but before you try to tighten it, what you want to do is squeeze this belt so that it goes down in the back pulley a little bit and it frees up in the front pulley. Otherwise, you may be tightening the variator against the belt. So make sure that's freed up and then go ahead and hit that with the impact or whatever you're doing to tighten it. Now you can slide the CVT cover back into place. Then you can install the bolts all the way around there. And remember, you've got to put your brackets back in place where they were before. 